One of the first things you want to do when working with your storyboard is actually update the master template we give you for your own particular needs. You can find the template by opening up your uh, Windows Explorer, going to the libraries, then go to the documents. In here, you should find Applied Computer Services. That's us. We are the creator of Timer Pro. You open up the Applied Computer Services and go to the Templates folder right here. This is where we store all the templates that are used in Timer Pro. Open up Templates, sort it by name if you haven't already got it sorted by name, and scroll down here. And the one you're looking for is the file called storyboard.xltm. You can see here, storyboard.xltm. And you can see over here, it's a Microsoft Excel macro-enabled template. This is very important. We have to save this as a template. This is going to be the basis of all your storyboards. Now, if you don't find this particular path, you can also get to this at exactly the same location by going to the C drive, going to the users, and then going to the public, public documents, and there you'll find applied computer services. And again, here is the templates. And down here, you'll find the storyboard.xltm. Uh, so normally, you'll be able to find it easiest under the libraries, documents, applied computer services, templates. But depending on your operating system or how your IT's got it set up, you may have to go the other route to find it here. But it's here. This is the one we're after here, storyboard.xltm. So this is the one that you want here. So what you have to do is you have to open up Excel on its own. So you go out and you open up Excel. And you have to go and find that file. So you're going to go to File. And just like you did before, you're going to Open File. And you're going to go to the Libraries, Documents, Applied Computer Services. Look for the uh, templates. There's the templates right there. Scroll down and find the Storyboard dot xltm which is right here and open up through excel do not open up directly from the folder as it will open up and give it another name because of the micros that will run inside you have to open up directly from excel so it comes in with the same name storyboard dot xltm this is critical and as i said you'll make your changes here that will be covered in the subsequent videos and then when you're ready to save it you have to go to file and then you're going to go save as and make sure it's got exactly the same name and make sure it's also showing the Excel macro enabled template. And if it's not, if this isn't here, it's not going to be picked up by Timer Pro. You have to make sure it's that. So you can click on the drop down and make sure you've got the selection Excel macro enabled template. That's critical. And then, of course, you just save it right from there and it will write it back into the same place with your own edits in there. So that's how you find and you save the storyboard template once you've updated it with your own particular requirements.